Hello and welcome back to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and if you've been a fan of RouterGods.com and our Meetup channel, you know that we've had our Narbic GNS3.NET files available for you guys to practice your Narbic workbooks inside of GNS3. Very useful, takes about 30 seconds to set up. You double click on a file and you're ready to rock and roll with any of his workbooks. The problem was this was all for version 4. And of course right now we are dealing with CCIE route switch version 5. So where are the version 5 files? Well, we've been testing them for about the last 6 months or so in our own private Slack chat rooms. And now I think they are good enough to be released to the public. We're going to be placing them on the routergods.com webpage. And when you download that file, what you're going to get is a 7-zip file that's going to be about 2.5 megs, 2.5 megs. And then when you unzip it, you're going to need 7-zip as program. Let's extract to here. You're going to see it's going to unzip into two folders as of now. So those two folders are the foundation folder for his foundation workbooks and also advanced route switch for his advanced workbooks. Inside the foundation workbook, you're going to get volumes one and two for configs. Now you're not getting the workbooks themselves. You've got to buy them and I highly suggest that you do buy them. And then we've got advanced route switch, which is in four volume. Okay, so let's say you're going to use this. What you're going to do is let's say you're practicing with foundation and you're doing some BGP lab. So you're going to go into the foundation folder. You're going to go into volume two and you see there is section eight for BGP. Go into there and let's say you're practicing with uh, lab two in BGP. You just go into there and you'll see a .gns3 file. Double click on that GNS3 file. Now assuming you have the correct image file loaded into your GNS3, it's going to start up like this. You click play and then click console in and everything should be okay. For some of these labs, they're going to be fairly large and you will need to have a decent amount of RAM on your computer. I suggest nothing less than eight gigs, eight gigs or more for your computer. You can see the, the windows come up and let's show IP interface brief and you'll see the IP addresses are already in there. Now this is an extra treat because Narbic generally recommends that for the foundation workbooks you type in all the IP addresses. Here I'm assuming that if you're going for a CCIE you know how to type in your IP addresses, hopefully, and I've pre-baked those IPs into these configurations. So there you have it. GNS3 files updated for CCIE, RNS, V5, for Narbic's and Micronics workbooks. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.